anyway. As long as the bike is getting through, you're getting through too. You just gotta freaking put the accelerator down and just go, yeah. I'm not used to ride motorbikes, surf and everything in like, with so much energy on the same weekend like this. It's a dream come true for me. You know, it's all the passions that I love. Yeah, I'm stoked to be here. It's a very big event with a lot of disciplines. It's about, uh, about art, about surf, about skate, about culture. My name is Martin Alfugaray. I'm the race director of the, of the Park Speak Race. I don't know if there is anywhere any race so special like this one. You have the seat just in front. It's, it's totally different. It's not a track, it's a mountain. Everything that has motors has been with me since ever. It's a thing that you can you can explain. It's, it's it's born born to you. My name is Daniel Cabral and I'm from Portugal. And race is, is my scene. I try not not to think too much about it and just let it let it flow. And just being focused and and always want to win. I'm Edie Ashley and I'm from a little village in the valleys of Wales called Roscoch which kind of involved my mum picking me up on horseback from primary school and then I'd get back from school and my dad would be like, oh, do you want to go out on the bike? And this kind of like horse riding and motorbiking was just like all the way through my childhood. Okay, so this track is an endurance track. It begins with motocross and then it goes into endurance. But you need to just go like, ping, and then ping, and then ping. And it's like very short little spurts of like technical riding. And the bike, as long as you hold on, it's like a horse. And even if you're just plodding along at the back, you're learning so much, you know. And no looking down, just like look ahead and just get to the place you gotta go. What? Why do you think That's like... my bike. Is it? A little bump. <laughs> There's a combination of custom bikes and just like pure vintage bikes that are just like, oh my gosh. I'd like to put the word steez to explain them, uh, which actually is the definition is style with ease. And so I think it's more about the spirit of riding and like, you know, it's, it's definitely playing on that kind of like subculture, like the rockers, the turn up boys, you know, um, and having like a crew of sort of different alternative bikers. So I think that is also a difference between, you know, your average motorcycle race and this, you know, there's just like a lot of attention to style and beauty. There's more and more girls about, and I just, I just wish there were more chicks my age and in my crew that would come out with me. I know they're fucking excited to do it, and they're just like, I need to hook up a bike, and I'm like, what the hell are you waiting for? Get on it, you know? I want to go around the track with someone, so yeah, but it's happening. I think it's exciting. Being surrounded by boys is obviously a bit like, <laughs> am I okay? Am I going to be good? But I actually think that the girls, like, if you know, we have such a like head head strong uh, view of it that like we could fucking tear the shit up and like leave all the boys in the pit. I think that we definitely way more capable than we think we we are or other people think we are. You're kind of just like surfing with your bike and it's very much about movement and balance and I think that they're two freaking steezy sports. I'm Ophélie Aquen, I'm from France, from Reunion Island. Uh, it's really nice to, to make a competition here in my home in France. We can uh, hit uh, 
croissant and pain au chocolat here together. <laughs> it's special because we have all long border, classic long border. It was really fun in the water. I was uh, with a Brazilian, with a Hollandese, another girl from California. For me, longboarding, it's especially for women, is um, like dancing, it's more graceful. My name is Paul Duvigno. I'm from Hossegor. I'm a shaper and also a surfer. I shape the boards that I surf. Yesterday uh, I was at the Swank Rally and it was my first race ever. So that was so nice in the mud and stuff. Everybody told me, oh man, you're going with your 125. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be hell for you out there. And uh, it was hell. <laughs> well, the, the energy out there was, Perfect, I, I love it. That's why the surf and motorbike culture is, is good to, to be together. The feeling of riding, feeling free and going fast, so and pushing the limits. Yeah, the, the surf in France in general has become from people coming around the world. So it's good to share the surf with many people. That's what I love. My name is Steve Caballero and I'm here for motorcycles, skateboarding, art, surfing, and music. <laughs> I was a part of the, the progression of the sport. Just helped develop skateboarding to become a very well-known, respected professional sport. You know, there's a free skateboard park in almost every city. My passion for skating led into other things like music and also art and motorcycles. You know, uh, I've always been a huge fan of motorcycles. A motorcycle is my first form of transportation when I was a kid. So keeping that connection and keeping that passion for them, um, it just kind of rekindled in the last years. Just being here at this, this event, Wheels and Waves, it's something that's part of my life. I feel like I make a, a nice connection here because it's everything that I'm into. It's a passion that we all share. With skating, I um, mean, you can take it any way you want to, you know. Same with motorcycles, you can be competitive about it and start racing, or you can just do it as leisure. People skateboard for different reasons. And then it also has this danger aspect to it. It's very dangerous. Motorcycles are dangerous, skateboarding is dangerous. But, you know, just being free and creative and let us express ourselves through these things, through skating and music and motorcycles and, you know, and surfing. I can play music by myself. I can ride my dirt bike by myself, um, skate by myself. You don't have to have a team, you know, to enjoy them. But it's really cool to connect with like-minded people for the fact that you can share these same passions together and that's what we're doing here today.